In Asia and the Pacific, many countries face significant challenges due to disasters, economic downturns, or political unrest. Some countries are more vulnerable to risks than others due to their geographic and demographic features. Compounding factors like weak governance, subnational conflict, and debt distress can contribute to fragility, slowing progress toward development goals. Recognizing these challenges, the Asian Development Bank engages with and assists these countries in different ways, based on a deep understanding of the nature of risks, vulnerabilities, and fragility in each case. Risk deals with the probability of a negative event occurring. Vulnerability refers to the condition of being susceptible to risk. Fragility combines exposure to risk and the insufficient coping capacity of a state, system, or community to deal with that risk. We can break down how we understand fragility into four key dimensions. First, structural and environmental dimensions refer to factors that do not easily change, like a country's geography or history, as well as climate change, pollution, and natural hazards, which increase vulnerability. Next, economic dimensions concern the health and equity of an economy. A strong economy with equitable opportunities boosts resilience, but high debt or inequality can make a society more vulnerable. Third, institutional dimensions refer to the effectiveness and integrity of governance. When institutions are weak or lack integrity, handling problems becomes challenging. And finally, political and societal dimensions are about politics and people. Stable communities and open governments foster resilience, while conflicts and injustice contribute to fragility. ADB aims to help build resilience in all these areas. Resilience represents the collective capacity to manage, absorb, or mitigate risks. Fragility is not a fixed state. It can change based on a combination of shocks, stressors, and a society's ability to cope. Understanding the causes of fragility is essential to addressing risk and helping countries build resilience, which is why ADB assesses fragility and resilience as part of its country programs and project operations. Understanding the roots and complexities of fragility helps ADB meet the challenges facing many countries in Asia and the Pacific. You can download our publication at adb.org to learn more about how ADB defines fragility and applies this understanding to its support for its developing member countries.